What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Anne and in today's video we're going to talk about five different tips on how to continue surviving, succeeding, and hopefully thriving during this time if you're in college. But this can also apply to you if you're in high school or middle school or whatever kind of school that you go to. If you're new to this channel, definitely be sure to check out my other videos on this channel and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to become a part of this family and to help this channel to grow. Without further ado, let us hop into the video. Before we go any further, you guys, definitely be sure to watch this video all the way until the end. I'll have a bonus tip for you and I'll have an exciting announcement also at the end of this video. So definitely be sure to watch all the way until the end. Before getting into our first piece of advice, I should tell you guys that I am a second year student in college and this year has definitely been interesting to say the least. All of my classes have been virtual. They've all been online even though I am back on campus. So the crazy thing to me is that it's been really hard for me to stay focused and to get my work done when I'm in my room. So this is why my first piece of advice for you is to definitely make sure you leave your room. Literally pack your bag, get your stuff, and leave. Because to put it simply, your room is the place of distraction. There lies your snacks. <laughs> Here lies your food. Yeah! There lies your TV, your Hulu, and Netflix, and Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter, and WhatsApp. Oh, and look at your bed. How nice would it be to just jump right in? It'll be just five minutes, right? And then you'll get back to work. Right. Two hours later. You get the point. Please get out of your room. Go somewhere else if it's safe to get your work done there. So next on our list, you guys, is for you to know your signs of exhaustion. It is literally so hard for us to know and to respect our body's boundaries sometimes, especially when we have deadlines and due dates to meet. It's so easy to fall into the trap of constantly doing work and never stopping to breathe and taking a break. But it is worth it for you to actually know what your body does when you're exhausted or when you're tired. If while you're working, for example, you start to feel dizzy, you start to feel like you have a headache, you start to feel moody, or you start to feel more irritated than you were before you started working, that probably means you need a break. Now, I'm in no way telling you that if you've worked for 30 minutes in a day that you're completely done for that day. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, I'm telling you that it's worth it for you to know your signs of exhaustion and if you have worked for the whole day, then you definitely should know that you should take a break, which also leads us to the next point. What's the next point again? Take a break. Every hour or so while you're doing homework or while you're studying, it's good for you to try and take a good productive break. And by productive, I mean you're not spending your time on your phone, you're trying to not be on social media during that time, but instead you're trying to purposely move your body out of the space that you were in while you were doing work. Maybe you're going outside to jog, to go on a walk, to get some coffee or to grab a bite. And also keep in mind that if you have to do long study sessions, like say you have an exam coming up, then it's worth it for you to try and take five five minute breaks, five minute break intervals between your 30 minute study sessions. It's better for you to do that. It's better for your body. It's better for your brain. You're more able to learn and retain the information that you're trying to learn in that way. Like you guys, I'm not making this up. This is like scientifically proven. I think it is. So do it. Oh, hey, hi there. Sorry to interrupt. I just, I just kind of noticed that you still haven't hit that subscribe button. And you know, I was just, I was wondering why, you know, why would you not want to help us grow and flourish? And it's like so easy. Just like hit it. It's, it's just hit the button. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Our next focus, you guys, is literally to try and be proactive in talking to other humans. Yeah. Listen, if you have been cooped up inside during quarantine and then for your classes to also be online and if you go to a school or you're at an institution that just told you that for the spring, you're also going to be online, this is going to be important because let me tell you something, it is so easy to be locked up in your room, to be behind a screen all day and it feels like you're actually taking a break when you're not on Zoom or you're not on Blackboard at another meeting and you're just sit sitting on your bed watching Netflix or watching a movie, it feels like a break. But at the same time, not getting human interaction, physical human contact, or just vocally, verbally talking to another human being, 
is just not good for you. Like sometimes I feel like I'm losing my mind in this room and just going outside to breathe, sitting on a bench, watching people walk by with their puppies helps me so much. So be proactive about talking to humans. It is so hard to make friends regularly anyway. And I feel like with COVID, it's, it's been even harder for people that are either on campus or at home to make friends. So wherever you are, try your best to get on the phone, call your family, call your mom, call your brothers and sisters, talk to your old friends from high school, be sure to stay in contact with somebody to feel like you're actually a living human being. So let's go right into tip number five. At this point, you all should know that this online college thing is not going to be easy. It hasn't been easy. And if you're continuing to take to be in college online for the next semester, it's not going to be easy. I personally thought that this semester would have been a lot easier than the last, but I quickly came to find out that that was not the case. And yeah, that's partially because of my classes and because of my schedule, but at the same time, everything being completely or partially online has made things so much more complicated and so much more difficult. So my advice for you is to actually put in the work, you guys. Know your assignments, know your classes, know your schedules, try and get to know your professors and put in the work that's required to get good grades and succeed in your classes. Oh, and don't procrastinate. And now for the bonus tip. My last piece of advice is for you to manage your time wisely. If you use a planner, if you use a calendar, Google Calendar, there are even apps nowadays that you can use on your phone to help you manage your time and stay on top of your tasks and your assignments. Do what you gotta do, manage your time wisely. And if you wanna find out how to be more efficient with your time, definitely check out this video linked above, either here or there, I'm not sure. Um, click on the video and it'll show you my semester plan with me where I use my planner, my calendar, and a daily to-do list to help manage my time and be efficient with the time that I do have. So now for the announcements portion of this video, I'm super excited to tell you guys that I'll be launching and uploading a self-care series really soon on this channel. Actually, it'll start happening by the next weeks or so, so definitely make sure you're subscribed for that. But yes, I'm going to be launching a self-care series specifically focusing on college student self-care. And most of the videos are going to be about physical, emotional, mental, and if you guys want it, even professional self-care. You're not going to want to miss those. I promise you're not going to want to miss them. So definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when those videos go live so that you can check them out. But other than that, you guys, that is it for this video. Definitely leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.